what we did here today is uh, has actually been scheduled several times, and then we um, it just wasn't right, and so so we kept putting it off, and finally we did it today, and it was um, clearing out this this shed where my friend Oliver Oliver was telling me about it, and I offered to help. We we're going to clear this out, but energetically it needed to be cleared out, and uh, he hated going inside, but he kept going in to do. Um, um, Epsom salts and rubbing alcohol uh, to clear the place out and then leaving it in there and then going. And I told him he had to walk around the perimeter. So then um, we made this plan and scheduled it and I tapped in and I, f and I felt that there are um, that there were two uh, beings here, two uh, the spirits of deceased people who are stuck here based in this uh, stuck in this energy. And what the energy is um, is this kind of dark uh, despair and sadness and this powerlessness uh, that had been uh, anchored here by this um, shack in the in the backyard being used for several years by um, some drug addicts who were homeless and so um, they they uh, were cleared out by the landlord and then he um, rented the house to my friend Oliver and then um, <laughs> I said to him, we can, we can help these energies go, we can help these beings go, and then you can actually physically clear the energy from the space. So that's what we were doing this morning, um, and so I just realized a minute ago that, that the, uh, the recorder was on in my pocket. So I'm going to go home and see if the audio is in there of what I was telling him, because uh, I'd love to make a nice little video essay for you. But yeah, there are these two, these two beings here, and a third that comes and goes that was not here today, but I kind of tapped into. And the first one, or one of the two, I should say, responded really, really quickly to my invitation to kind of wake up to how things are really going and what, what needs to happen. And, and, and this is called spirit rescue and release. Um, and this idea, what do they need to be rescued from? They need to be rescued from being stuck, from the belief that maybe they don't get to quote unquote go into the light or have a happier existence or some of them don't know they're dead. Some of them know that they're dead, but don't know what comes next, or lived in such a way that they judge themselves and don't believe that they get to have anything good later. So um, this one, I just explained that what has happened uh, doesn't have to keep happening. Uh, what was felt during life doesn't have to be the uh, you know his emotional state now. And uh, spent time with how I see things, and then. Um, as you'll probably hear on that muffled recording from my pocket, um, started to shift a little and started to wake up to what, how things are working and what I was saying. And then the other one, minutes later, slowly started, but it's actually still in the, in the, on the premises. Um, and that's fine. That's fine. We're fine with that. And so we're going to come back in a few days or a week and uh, do it again. But I also um, set it up in the mind of the second one. I planted some images of... You know, one of the reasons why Oliver lives here is to help this process, and maybe Oliver didn't really know that, but he's he's getting it now that that he is um, somebody who has the invitation to, so to speak, traffic in spiritual realms, and in a way other than mysticism and spirituality through a practice or religion or meditation. So that's a good day. It's a really good day. Um, I did do the Epsom salts and rubbing alcohol uh, around maybe. I don't know, maybe a third of the floor of the square the square square feet, which was one room that cleared out when that when that the first being uh, heard what I was saying and kind of woke up a little bit and kind of was able to be a little more flexible and and feel into things and actually is not even on the premises right now. And it will have to be cleared out again. The thing with the rubbing alcohol and the Epsom salts is that that fire burns energy, it clears energy. And lots of people use sage or uh, palo santo or other things, and those are good. Uh, sage actually gives me a headache, so I prefer the, the alcohol uh, and, and salts. Um, but it clears the space. It clears the space. So anyway, when this other bean goes, and the other 70% of the, of the square feet can be, can be cleared out, um, we will have to go through the other place again. Actually, I'm going to go in there right now. Hold on. Okay, so this is this is the shack. This is the room we don't go in quite yet. The whole other big room. And then this is uh, this is the room that I did clear out, uh, but it's going to have to be cleared out again once everything's done. So this is just a shack in the guy's backyard. And um, it wasn't being used, and so the squatters came in. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching.